Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm setting up my bullet journal for June and for this month I wanted to do a lavender theme which I have actually done before but I didn't film it at the time because I was taking a little break from YouTube so I thought it would be a good one to revisit. As always here are my spreads from last month and I actually finally made some new stickers for my Etsy shop so these are the ones inspired by my May setup which was kind of a picnic blanket um, gingham theme and I love how they turned out. By the time you're watching this video, my Etsy shop will also be active again. I had it on vacation mode for a little while, but if you want to get any stickers, it is up and running again, so I'll leave a link to it in the description. I'm also featuring some of your guys' recreations on the side here, and thank you so much to all of you, I really loved seeing all of them. I got a question on how I fill in my habit tracker, so I thought I would just show you here. I just kind of mark the day with a circle when I complete the habit, and the same thing goes with my weekly habits as well. I really loved making my weekly spreads for this theme because the gingham pattern was just perfect for filling space without it looking too chaotic, and I did actually skip a week just because I didn't use my bullet journal. So I have one more weekly spread after this one, and then I'm starting my June setup on these two pages. As a color scheme, I picked out four shades of Tomba brush pens, this darker shade of lilac as well as a lighter one. I really like kind of peachy yellow shade to bring a bit of warmth, and also a dark green to draw the stems of the lavender. I'm also using a gold gel pen as well as a white one, and my trusted Bucci gel pen, which I just like to write with. And then I also picked out a Sakura Pigma Micron fine liner for the doodles. Lastly, I wanted to use some craft paper again, which I haven't done in a while, and I thought it would just go really well with the theme. Now for this month, I wanted to switch things up a little bit on my cover page, so I usually do my cover on the left page and then do some monthly sections on the right, but this month I wanted to have a small work calendar as an overview on the left page and then put my cover on the right page instead. So first I'm using some of the craft paper as a background for the weekdays of the calendar, and the individual days are two grid spaces wide and three grid spaces tall, which you'll see in a little bit. So here I wrote the weekdays in white on top of the craft paper and now I'm using the light peachy yellow shade to mark the first row of each week because that's where I wanted to write the dates. And I did make the mistake of including the last few days of May, but I just kind of embraced it and just used my wet gel pen to kind of slightly lighten the color for the first two days so that they stand out a bit from the rest. Here I'm doing the same thing for the first few days of July, and the white gel pen doesn't really cover up the marker completely, but I thought it was kind of a nice look, so I just kept it. Then I'm going in with the darker purple shade to make the border of the calendar, and again the days are two grid spaces wide, so basically without counting the spaces for the date, I have four grid spaces to fill out, and I'm gonna include a little color code on the bottom, so I don't actually write anything in the calendar, I'm just gonna use the colors to mark what I want to work on each day, so I hope that makes sense. Here I'm crossing out the last few days of May and then the first few of July with the light yellow shade and then I'm using my Muji gel pen to write the dates and as you can see I like to use both grid spaces so I'll write 01 instead of 1 because I think it makes it look a bit more cohesive if all the dates have the same length. Now here's where I made the little color code, so I split my work into four categories, anything to do with YouTube, uh, my Instagram, my current job, or any other freelance work, and then I can just fill in each day with those colors accordingly. Next to the calendar, on the left side I wanted to draw some lavender, and I tried to make the process really easy, so first I used one of the lavender markers to draw these teardrop shapes to represent the flower buds, and then I draw the stems with a dark green in between. Next I go in with the Pigma Micron Fineliner and I just outline the flower buds roughly and the only reason I'm using this pen is because it has a very fine tip and I thought it just looked best this way. Lastly I'm using the gold gel pen to draw a bunch of dots in different sizes. Underneath the calendar, I wanted to include my YouTube and Instagram growth trackers, so I cut out two rectangles of craft paper for each one, and then I used the yellow marker as a background for the titles, and here I'm just writing YouTube and Instagram. Then I'm using the white gel pen to write the first and the last date of June, and this is where I'm going to write down how many subscribers I have at the beginning and at the end of the month. 
Right next to the trackers, I'm drawing some more lavender and this time I arranged them in a bunch with three stems and I also alternated between the two lavender shades because it gives them a little bit more variation. Moving on to my cover page, I wanted to keep it pretty simple as always, so first I'm drawing three large lavender stems and as you can see I'm switching between the two shades of purple again. And in general I also tried to give the flower buds some variation, so sometimes I drew two teardrop shapes or sometimes three and that just makes them look a little bit more natural. I left some space in the middle because I wanted to cover it with craft paper for the title and then I used the dark green shade again to draw the stems and I also gave them some leaves at the bottom which are really elongated and thin. Then I'm going in with the black fineliner to outline the flower buds once again. And what I really love about this type of doodle is that it doesn't really have to be perfect whatsoever. And sometimes I actually feel like it looks better if there are some imperfections. Next I cut out another rectangle of the craft paper for the title and I just placed it in the middle. And then I'm using the white gel pen to write June on it. And this time I went for a really simple font where the letters are really spaced out and I also made a dot on each side because I just thought it looked nice. Lastly, I'm again using the gold gel pen to draw a bunch of dots and they always look like pollen or like little dust particles to me and I just love using them to fill in empty spaces. So yeah, that's it for my cover page. I am really glad I switched things up this time. It just makes me more excited to use my bullet journal when I include like new spreads and I love the way the gold shimmers and the light. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next page. Now this one is always dedicated to my habit trackers and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. But I love adapting it to each theme, so first I'm using some more craft paper and the white gel pen for the title. And I'm really sorry about the footage here, it's kind of out of focus, but I fixed it in a little bit, so bear with me. On each side I'm drawing another lavender stem, and this just perfectly fills in the empty space, so I was really happy with how the titles turned out this time. Also, if you do end up recreating any of my spreads or my themes, I'd love to see them, so definitely tag me on Instagram and I will feature them in my next plan with me video again. For my daily habit trackers, I'm first using the light yellow shade as a background for the habits, and this time I made six trackers and I left space in the middle, so I have three on each side. Then I used the darker purple to write the weekdays underneath, and then I cut out a rectangle for each habit that is 7 grid spaces wide and 5 grid spaces tall, so that there are enough spaces for each day of June, if that makes sense. Now, because the paper I chose doesn't have any guides on it, I used my fine liner and the ruler to make a line for each week, which just makes it a bit easier to mark each day when I complete a habit. Then I'm writing my actual habits, so I have flossing my teeth, using the 5 minute journal, practicing my art skills, cleaning my room, doing my night skincare, and studying Korean. For the middle section I looked for a quote and then I used the lighter purple and the yellow as a background for each line. And then I'm also decorating this space with some more lavender on the top and the bottom. And I went for a bunch of three lavender stems again because I wanted some variation in the doodles as well. The quote I found goes, there are always flowers for those who want to see them, and it is by the artist Claude Monet, and I think it's really pretty, like, there are always positive or beautiful things in life for those who look for them, or I guess that's kind of how I interpreted it. On the 
bottom I'm including four weekly habits and again I'm using the yellow shade as a background and my weekly habits are making my weekly spreads in my bullet journal, watering my plants, vacuuming my room, and posting on Instagram which I feel like I have become a bit more consistent but there's definitely still room for improvement. On the right side I'm drawing a circle for each of the five weeks in the darker purple shade and again the way I use these is I just fill in the circle once I complete the habit each week. Now this right page is always where I try to kind of experiment a bit and include different sections. So this time I wanted to have a space to plan my YouTube posts because I'm trying to become more active and post more videos instead of just one each month. I did actually film a Etsy vlog recently, but I had some trouble with the footage so I didn't get to edit it yet. But basically I filmed the process of creating my May stickers, so I'm hoping I can edit it soon and post it after this video, so I'll keep you guys updated on it. And I also wanted to post some like painting videos and stuff like that, so this month I'm including a larger YouTube planning section. I basically made this big section and split it into three categories. So first I'm making a border again with the darker shade of purple. And because it looked a little bit empty, I also made a circle in each line. And I thought I just made it look nicer for some reason. The three categories that I came up with is what I have to film, what I have to edit, and any video ideas. Underneath that, I'm including one of my spreads from last month, which I really loved using, and it is a Korean word of the day section. So basically, I write down a new word that I learned for each day of the month, and then at the end, I have 30 new words, which definitely motivates me to study Korean on a consistent basis. I use the yellow shade to mark every second line, which just makes it a bit more visually appealing, and I also gave it a border in purple, and then here I'm writing the dates in black. I left some space on the right so that I can include some more lavender doodles and just make the spread look nice and cohesive. So here I'm again making these bunches of lavender, alternating between the two shades of purple and I just think these doodles are so quick and easy to do and they make the whole spread look so cute so I hope you like them as well. I forgot to cross out the days for May and July in my habit tracker, so that's what I'm doing here. And that is it for this spread. I think it turned out really cute, and I also think the two pages kind of balance each other out really nicely. Now lastly, let's move on to my first weekly spread of June. I accidentally didn't film the beginning of making this spread, but as you can see I cut out six squares of the craft paper, so I have five for Monday through Friday and then one for the weekend because I don't usually need a lot of space, so I just included Saturday and Sunday in one section. Next I'm using my white gel pen again to write the weekdays and the dates on the top of each section. And by the way, each one is 11 grid spaces wide and 11 grid spaces tall. And I space them out kind of like a checkered board which is inspired by the weekly spreads that Tina from Tina's Diary makes a lot. And I absolutely love the way they look, so definitely go check her out. She's super active on Instagram and she also has a lovely YouTube channel, so I'm gonna leave her links in the description. And again, since the craft paper doesn't have any guides, I used the white gel pen and a ruler to make some lines so that it's easier to write on it. Next, I started filling the empty sections with some doodles. So here I'm making another bunch of four lavender stems in the same style as before. 
Now with this layout, you don't really have as much space for writing your to-dos each day, but if you do need more planning space, you could definitely replace the doodles with any other sections like for events, or you can include little habit trackers or a mini calendar. So it's very versatile, which is what I really like about it. For this next section, I drew some more lavender, but as individual stems, just so that there is some variation between the doodles. Here I'm adding a little planning section, so first I'm using the yellow shade for every second line just to fill in the background and then I'm making a border with the darker purple shade, but I accidentally used the lighter one first so I just went over it again and this section is for my work to do's. Then I did the exact same thing for another planning section, which will be for my Instagram posting schedule because I'm also going to be posting about my Etsy shop and stuff, so I need a bit more space than usual to plan it out. Lastly, I just filled the other two sections with more lavender because I didn't really feel like I would need any other sections, but again, it's really easy to adapt this layout to your needs, so you could also fill every additional section with just doodles, it's completely up to you. And that is it for my weekly spread. I think it looks so cute and I really enjoyed filling all these little spaces with a bit of color. I usually have a bit more white space I feel like but I really like the look of it so yeah I hope you enjoyed this plan with me video and let's go ahead and do a little flip through. If you have any suggestions for bullet journal themes, video ideas, or stickers, anything like that, please let me know in the comments. I always try to respond to everyone and I love reading what you guys think. Also consider joining our little community if you want to see more of my content. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I'll see you again next time. Bye!